Sometimes these things happen in MMA. What's going on fight fans? Welcome to These Things Happen in MMA. The goal of this series is to introduce you to different mixed martial arts documentaries, including theatrical, televised, and independent releases. Before we start, don't forget to follow on social media for occasional giveaways, and I'm proud to say Full Contact Fighter is an official sponsor of the channel. Established in 1997, Full Contact Fighter is the sport's longest standing media outlet and lifestyle apparel line, with their clothing appearing on many of MMA's earliest legends. If you'd like to learn more about the company, visit FullContactFighter.com, where you can also own a piece of mixed martial arts history. Now here's 10 documentaries about mixed martial arts that you might not know about. A true visionary and entrepreneur, Charles Lewis founded Tap Out in 1997, and 10 years later he turned the company into a national brand worth millions. Sporting his iconic war paint, Lewis took on the persona known simply as Mask, and quickly came to represent the hardcore aspects of mixed martial arts fandom. Unfortunately, on March 11, 2009, Lewis was tragically killed by a drunk driver in Newport Beach, California, and in honor of his contributions to the sport, he's forever been immortalized inside the UFC's octagon. Without Charles Lewis, mixed martial arts wouldn't be what it is today, and the film tells the story from beginning to end with interviews from Mask himself, as well as the friends and fighters that he's helped along the way. Before he became a UFC champion, three-time All-American wrestler Chris Weidman began his journey in Long Island, New York with coach and mentor Ray Longo. From there, Chris would head down a path that eventually led to one of the biggest upsets in mixed martial arts history when he defeated Anderson Silva at UFC 162. Originally filmed in 2009, this documentary follows the life of Weidman through his professional mixed martial arts debut, all the way up to his incredible rise on the sport's biggest stage. Featuring interviews with those closest to Weidman, the film also highlights early matches from his high school and college wrestling career, as well as showcasing the mental fortitude that transformed Chris into one of the best middleweight champions in UFC history. Mixed martial arts is an ever-evolving sport, and in order to be successful, one needs to be complete both physically and mentally. Intelligence, creativity, discipline, and hard work demonstrate the skills behind the most supreme fighters on the planet as they attempt to bring the human body to a new level. Providing an inside look at the mindset of an ultimate athlete, Poten highlights the training methods used by some of the sport's greatest fighters and coaches. Including appearances from Boss Rutten, Dan Henderson, Sean Tompkins, as well as many others, the documentary blends together unseen training footage in between unique interviews and gives a rare view of the fastest growing sport in the world. The sport of boxing is well known for its tough Latin American athletes. However, the sport of mixed martial arts has yet to produce a Mexican champion until the arrival of Cain Velasquez. Capturing the UFC's heavyweight title in 2010, Mexican Fighter highlights Kane's rise and focuses on the historical impact of Mexican fighters and mixed martial arts. In addition, the film features appearances from fellow Mexican-American fighters Gilbert Melendez and Miguel Torres, both of whom are former champions and share a deep connection with their heritage and roots. Splitting time between the three, the documentary showcases the fighters' upbringing as well as their family life and gives you a glimpse into the journey of some of the sport's first Mexican champions. In the 1980s, Hicks and Gracie was widely considered as one of the top fighters in the world and viewed as the toughest member of the legendary Gracie family. After winning the 8-man Valley Tudo Japan tournament in 1994, Hickson's popularity skyrocketed and he was invited back the following year to defend his title. Choke follows the undisputed champion as he once again attempts to defeat three men in one night and maintain his status as the best fighter on the planet. The film also showcases American kickboxer Hollywood Todd Hayes and Japanese wrestler Koichiro Kimura as they prepare to compete in the one night single elimination tournament. At 22 years old, Isaac Richards walked away from a promising career as a goalkeeper with Adelaide United to pursue another dream of becoming a mixed martial arts fighter. The Perfect Storm chronicles Isaac's journey over the course of several months in 2020 while showcasing his training and mental preparation leading up to his MMA debut. Featuring interviews from family, friends, and coaches, the film highlights Isaac's upbringing and displays his strong-willed personality that shaped his athletic career. The documentary concludes with Richard's mixed martial arts debut in Australian promotion Diamondback FC and captures behind-the-scenes moments before and after the event. Capturing the UFC's welterweight championship in 2001, Matt Hughes went on to have one of the most dominant title runs in mixed martial arts history and is viewed amongst the greatest fighters in the sport. Offering a rare look into the life of Hughes, this personal biography highlights Matt's childhood in Hillsboro, Illinois, and showcases the work ethic that shaped him into a Hall of Fame champion. The documentary also features unseen footage from some of Matt's earliest fights, as well as exclusive interviews with family, friends, and coaches. With a primary focus on the lives of Jake Shields and Lyle Beerbaum, 
Fight Life unveils the sport of mixed martial arts and showcases what it takes to be a modern day professional fighter. Featuring backstage access and unseen training footage, the documentary also includes appearances from Gilbert Melendez, Nick Diaz, Frank Shamrock, and many more. Shot over the course of three years from 2008 to 2011, Fight Life concludes with both Shields and Beer Bomb headlining their own Strike Force card and offers an intriguing behind the scenes view leading up to the events. The film also displays the highs and lows that every athlete shares and gives an inside look at the many struggles that are associated with a pro fighter's career. The story of Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz began over two decades ago, at a time when MMA was still struggling to capture a mainstream audience. After starting their careers as friends and training partners, Chuck and Tito's relationship evolved into one of the most heated rivalries in mixed martial arts history. Bad Blood gives an all-access look at the epic feud between two of the sport's biggest superstars that was forged in competition over the UFC's light heavyweight championship. Featuring unseen interviews and rare behind-the-scenes footage from their historic fights, the film showcases the rivalry that helped launch the UFC and forever link the names of Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz. Inspired by the ancient fighting sport of Pancration, Pancrace is a Japanese mixed martial arts promotion that was founded in 1993 and holds deep roots in professional wrestling. Taking place during the lead-up to Pancrase 246, MMA Zen follows several top Japanese fighters as they prepare for the biggest moment of their careers. With vastly different motivations for fighting, the documentary highlights each competitor's story and background, while also showcasing their previous accomplishments. Ending with the conclusion of Pancrase 246, the film displays the highs and lows of each competitor as they receive varying results. Hopefully this list provided the documentary of interest, and if so, make sure to support the fighters and filmmakers who chronicle this great sport. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below with your favorite documentary about mixed martial arts. Again, don't forget to follow on social media for occasional giveaways, and visit FullContactFighter.com to own a piece of mixed martial arts history. Thanks for watching and supporting my channel. Sometimes these things happen in MMA.